Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from Silicon Valley, California. Today I'm going to explain how to download Anaconda Python and install it and then use it for hybrid Pi. So right now I'm going to Anaconda.com. I can click free download and it will go to this page for Windows user. Please click download. And you can see it starts to download. Go into there and uh, the download file will go to the default download folder. So you can see I have started to download here. But for this demo, I won't wait for the download finish. I will just uh, click this one to show you how to install. The install step is very straightforward. You just double click the download file and pretty much follow the default options. Uh, it will take a little bit of time to start. Let's wait for a little bit. Starts. You can see it starts to loading. It takes a little bit of time to install. Actually, what you need to do is just follow the default settings. Just click next. I agree. And just me. And use the default destination folder and click next. It's not empty because I have installed Anaconda 3 already. But if you don't have something there, then it will start to install. After the installation, I will start here because I have an account already. After you install it, you can go to an account navigator. That's the starting point. If you click this one, it will start the an account navigator like this. To start using Python, we recommend to use IDE, which is called Spider. From this page, you won't be able to tell what is the default Python version. You need to click Launch. It will start the IDE called Spider. So you can see Spider starts. It takes a little bit of time for Spider to jump out, actually. Okay, this is the spider. So the next is how can we tell what is the Python environment? Actually, the default setting is you will have a Python console and it tells you that I'm using Python 3.11.4 and this is the IPython interface so that you can run any Python code as you want something like this. For example, I can run, let's say, no. Yes, that's the demo about how to find what's the Python version. However, probably you don't want to use Python 3.11. Probably you want to use 3.8, for example. How can we do that? What we are going to do is to create a virtual environment in Anaconda Navigator. If you look at here, it says base, root. What does it mean? Actually, if you click environment, it will tell you that this is my base root and it has default Python 3.11 11 as we look at the spider. Let's turn it off. Let me show you something else. And right now, what if I want to create a Python 3.8? What should I do? Actually, I already have it already there, but I want to show you how to create a virtual environment using Python 3.8.
and also install some packages. So what we can do is actually when we when when you switch, okay, when you switch uh, environment, it takes some time. Let me click create. So let's say new Python 3.8 environment. And here you can choose the version you want as default right now 3.8.18. And you can click create. You will see I have created a new virtual environment using Python 3.8 right here. It takes a little bit time for Anaconda to create the virtual environment. So let's wait a little bit. And then the next step after it's finished, we can take a look what kind of packages it has installed. Then we can install some packages we need. loading some default packages right now. Okay, so you can see this is installed packages. There are just some basic packages. What if I want to install something? For example, I want to install pandas so that we can use hybrid pack. Let's say install. And then let's look for pandas. Okay, let's just take time to. Okay, let's look for. This is pandas, and the pandas version is 2.0.3, and I want to install it. I just click install and apply. Then Anaconda will install pandas and its dependencies to your environment. Let's wait a little bit. So it tells you that 16 packages will be installed because pandas depends on those. Let's click install. Let's wait for a little bit. Okay, installation of pandas is ready. Let's verify. Click go to install. You can see panda pandas is installed already. And there are many dependencies has been installed for you. Then let's click home. You see, it switched to new panda, a new Python 3.8, which is I created. And if you see application, no, don't click this. Click this one. You see, it automatically switched to this new virtual environment. If it does not, you need to do it manually. If I click spider this time, you will see Installing Spider because I don't have it installed as default right now. Okay, after the installation is completed, if you go to this page, you will see it says launch, which means Spider is installed at this moment. Let's launch this time. Okay, spider starts. Okay, we have spider. 
So you see this time, the Python version switched to 3.8.18. It's not 3.11. So the conclusion is, when you install the latest Anaconda, you can use this virtual environment to install multiple versions of Python as you want. So the basic way is to go to create and then install Python environment. And when you need to switch, you can switch. For example, you switch here is Python 3.10 this time. And then go to home and go to launch spider. Then spider will use the environment for you. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions about average pie, about automated trading, or our well-known rent a coder service, please email to averagepie at gmail.com. Thank you so much.